Hi y'all! Um, it's been a while since I turned on this video, but here's the big news. I got married! And today I just wanted to talk about how I uh, managed to keep my wedding, um, which I had at the age of 23, um, under, what was it? $6,000. Um, so just like to give a brief introduction of myself, I'm a developer right now and my last video was about uh, me getting laid off and after that, um, I guess it's been maybe a year and three months and yes, now I'm married and now I'm at my new apartment with my hubby, um, the name husband doesn't really come up in my mouth so I've been referring um, to him as my boyfriend even until now I used to say like fiance but you know just boyfriend for the last um, several years and so that's just the only word that really sticks to my mouth uh, but yeah I just wanted to share um, how I budgeted and kept my kept our expenses under control and we had a, a fairly a small wedding and I'm South Korean by citizenship and so is my boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, let's say that. My ex-boyfriend and I are both South Korean and so we wanted to just keep it very small and we didn't really have many, mm, too many friends to invite and we just all had our um, family who are in South Korea come, only the direct family, no relatives, no um, aunts and uncles, none. So we just had a very small one, but I loved it and there's not a moment that I would regret and there's not a purchase that I regret ever um, during this wedding. And so I just wanted to share how that went. Um, so. So we so just to tell you the entire sum, we managed to keep it at just for the day though. Um, there were a lot of expenses to and fro. There was the honeymoon, of course, and we went to Hawaii, the big island. And so if you guys want more information there, I'd love to share that. But just for the wedding day itself, we spent six thousand eight dollars and ninety one cents. And so this is as exact as we could get, but it is subtracting all of our um, families' direct flights from Korea and their um, Airbnbs and like the time and travels that we spent with them um, before and after the wedding. But this is just for the day of, so I just wanted to, to keep uh, that in mind. So number one, so I divided it up into several categories. But the first one is the ceremony. And so in order to have the ceremony, you need your marriage license. And this, I guess it differs from uh, for each state. But me, in the state that I live in, the actual cost was $20. And um, I mean, it's all there. You, sh you could just look up your official um, state county address or online website and it will guide you there it will show you which documents you'll need to bring and for you and your husband or fiance and then you can maybe fill up an online app application like a pre-application so you would fill all of all of the information in um it did say like you need your birth cert certificate and so i prepared all of mine but it never really mm, was required so i would like just maybe call and ask if you're not too sure and my ex-boyfriend, he also had lost his driver's license, so we took his passport and everything, and so that was all fine. Um, yeah, that's it. And for the efficient, um, we had our youth group pastor be our efficient, and just as a, you know, as a um, like a respect of gra gratitude, we gave him two hundred dollars, and so we asked him maybe. Hmm, two three months before our wedding because oh just to tell you the timeline we dated from 2021 yeah so we were we were getting to know each other in 2021 we dated in january the first week of 2022 and we got married this year in may and then we got uh, and then we were engaged 
this January. So it was like four months of getting ready for a wedding that we didn't even know we were gonna have. Um, so yeah, so it was a very short timeline in whole. So we were pretty stressed and we didn't really know what to do because I mean, yeah, this was our both our first wedding. So we had asked of our youth group pastor for a premarital counseling. And I think that was one of the best things that we did. Um, so if you guys have an opportunity to do that, I would highly suggest that because it helps you to kind of um, go back and reflect on your um, expectations on marriage and why you're even going in it. Outside of that person, what your views are in marriage and whether um, what you guys are bringing to it um, what are the expectations that uh, that you have and stuff like that and what is love what is marriage and what is that covenant uh, mean in marriage and so yeah we covered that and i think it was a very good um session so if you guys have a chance look into it and then finally um, inside the ceremony category there's just one left and that's the venue um, so we had this at our local church I know venues can go up to a million like I mean like 10 grand right but um, thankfully we were spending like very small for this um, so we spent yeah three hundred dollars just for that morning ceremony we had it on a Saturday and thankfully the date that we chose was wasn't conflicting with, with any other schedules at the church so that went fine and so the subtotal there it was 520 okay remember that and that was 8.65 percent of the entire cost okay and so the reception um for the reception i had a hard time researching all of our options because we wanted to book a restaurant basically and no we did not party or like do any of the dancing we just had a small little meal together it was very cute and um we basically called a lot of places emailed a lot of places and uh, what to see whether they had a uh, individual like separate um, gathering place for maybe 30 to 40 people we didn't exactly know at the time being how many guests we would like to even have so we just kind of did like a brief um, write-up of how many friends that we had would be able to make it and that was about like 30 right but give or take but then I would suggest you highly suggest you if you guys are having a very small wedding like me um, up your guest list like 10 because I feel like for us we did like a minimum guest count but I would highly suggest you to just add like a plus 15 to your entire maximum guest list just so that if people happen to say like oh wait why am I not invited then you can like extend it to them extend the invitation to them and they'll be ha they'll feel happy and you'll feel happy yay so both sides would win and so yeah, it was a hard it was hard like trying to get like the dates together and I don't know if it was a restaurant or um it was like the actual rules or that specific days that I asked but a lot of them were like oh no we're not we're not available even if they had the extra room so I'm not sure if it was like our little guest count that was only like 30 40 that they did not want to have or they really could not have at the restaurant but there were places that were like oh yeah we can do that but for lunch and so we were gonna have dinner um primarily but as we looked into our options dinner was pretty pricey and uh, we did want to keep our wedding on like a lower budget just because this one day doesn't necessarily um, define our entire life you know it's just one day of celebration and yes although we wanted other people to enjoy it and we also wanted to enjoy it ourselves we didn't want it we didn't want to go like all all over or like yeah all over the place and so we decided okay i guess a lunch would do and so we 
made sure that it was like above 4.5 on Google, Google, um, Google, Google, like, you know, when you select Google reviews and also on Yelp. And then I had never been to the restaurant, but I asked like, um, to, I asked some work people and they were like, oh yeah, that's like the best around. So when I heard those, um, reviews, I was like, hmm, maybe, you know, I can actually trust them. So I did not go to that restaurant ever until the day of but i know and i've heard a lot of couples doing like tasting and they would pre-select the menus but thankfully for us we already had or the restaurant already had like a group dining brochure and they had select menus that were only able to be um that were only available for group dining so that kind of made our thing easier and I guess it was because of that we didn't necessarily go there to taste the menus ourselves. We we're like, you know, we'll just leave it up to them. I guess they would do fine. Um, yeah, and then all of the drinks were included. It was not an open cash bar or whatever. Just because it was lunch, we didn't really know whether people would want to drink. But there were like all the lemonade, soda, mock I think mocktails or yeah, coffee, tea, all of that was included. So that was really nice. Like that was nothing that we had to think about. And then the wedding cake. We uh, pre-selected and we ordered it from like a person who does it in her own house. So that cost $150. We did three different cakes. I think seven inch, eight inch, and seven or eight inch. So around three. And we did like black sesame, we did earl grey, and we did strawberry chocolate, and we didn't even finish all of them. Um, all of the people were so full because uh, the catering menu inclu included like flatbreads as apps. And then um, entree, they either had like a selection of salmon, gnocchi, or chicken. And then there was also dessert. And so by the end of that, people were like so full. And so not all of them, like even tasted our wedding cake so that was like a bummer but yeah it was nice to just have like a little show of like a cake cutting thing and so yeah that was like the reception part mm, and then let's go on to the attire so ba -ba -ba -bum, um our my wedding dress this i wanted to keep it at a bare minimum because i believe in like a cost per wear which is if you buy a $100 dress and you wear it once, that price of the dress is 100 bucks. Whereas if you buy a, a dress for, uh, let's say, $1,000, it's like $1,000, but you wear it, let's say, once a month, then that cost per wear is 1000 divided by 12, I'm bad at math, um, which is $83. So all in all, even if the $1,000 dress is so much more expensive, if you make use of it and if you wear it more often and longer, the price goes down. So I believe in that cost per wear. And so for a wedding dress, it's just once in a lifetime. And I know a lot of mm, brides um, get so engrossed on that statement. It's only my like it's the only wedding day but yes and no it is your only wedding day but it's also the only wedding day you're only gonna wear your wedding dress once or twice or th thrice like depending on whether you want your anniversary shots or whatever but for me i just don't really want to care about that too much i just i'm just not that type of a person to care and so I tried to minimize my spending here. I got a wedding dress for $59.23. I got my wedding dress from um, AliExpress. And I know a lot of people would be like, oh, you got it from China. Like you got it from Ali, like T Timu, right? Shein, like all of that sort is like the same. But yeah, I did a lot of research and I was like, you know, I think I'll be content with it. And so I bought it and damn i was not happy with it and so i just kind of like stuck it in my closet i was like you know what we'll we'll see like let's forget about it and maybe it'll just look prettier on my wedding day because i'll have makeup on i'll get i don't know hair done i'll probably lose some pounds 
so I just like shoved it away in my um, closet and I forgot about it or I tried to and so I was a little worried but all in all it worked out pretty okay my mom and I like pinned up everything the I think it was like the night before my wedding day like two nights before we're like oh shoot what do we do and then yeah we just like hemmed everything and like this weird like collar here was um this it was like a ribbon pretend ribbon but it came up this this high and so I would like cover my collarbone so I pinned it down right there and so it created more like a ribbon statement on my um chest so I'll show up a picture right here but yeah it turned out pretty okay and then my reception dress I didn't really I wasn't planning on wearing I, I wasn't planning on purchasing a reception reception dress but two days before the wedding, I just kind of went on like a shopping spree with my ex-boyfriend and his sister. And she was like, oh, you know, you should look into it. And then we just kind of went around shopping and I got this one from Aritzia. It was like just a very plain black dress, but it was so, so cute. I had wanted this style for so long. So although it was like two more than thrice my actual wedding dress i was like nope i'm gonna buy it and so without a hesitant it was without any hesitation i bought it off the hook and that was 160 dollars i think maybe it was like 161 but here i have 160 so that was it um so yeah now i see here the wedding dress was not even one percent it was 0.99 percent of my entire cost so that was a very minimum spending there uh the groom suit uh, $260. That was 4%. Uh, we got this uh, from Hugo Boss. So we went we went shopping a lot. It was so tiring. And when we were like on this trip, I think it was like one of the holidays that we were um, shopping for his suit. And it was horrible. It was a horrible experience. It was so much like waiting. And I mean, for him, it was have been even more horrible because I was just the one waiting and he was the one trying it on, taking it off, trying it on, taking it off. So it was a tiresome journey. But by the end, like, I think we went to um, Hugo Boss and their suit, like, the color was amazing. We weren't looking for a tuxedo, though, so that he could also wear it to other people's wedding and stuff. So we were looking for just, like, a general suit. We didn't want black. We didn't want too bright of a navy. So we wanted, like, somewhere with a dark, darker shade of navy. And so we were looking at Banana Republic, um, Hugo Boss, and like Brooks Brothers, and like, mm, what else? So like some of like the other brands, but we bought it from Hugo Boss, yeah. And then I also had like some hair extensions bought, and that was like $8, but we didn't really use it. So yeah, mm, that's like a bad purchase, I guess. Um, Hair. So we just kind of asked like a local hairstylist um, and we went to do one like counseling session and she just kind of briefly gave me and my ex-boyfriend a haircut that was $60 and then on the day of we went and got it done at her studio, $250. Um, the hair thing, we didn't necessarily give her um the exact references and we were just saying it out with our mouths and we never had like we never actually sent her pictures so we would just say like oh yeah i want like a updo i want more of like a natural style rather than so sleek and so that's what she did but you know even if i say something she would understand it, it she would understand it differently and so there's like these gaps in what we think that we are imagining and then when we say it that person would um, understand it, hear it, and then understand it differently. So I would suggest you, if you guys are like um, hiring like a direct stylist, always, always, always give her references. This one I regret not doing and so does my husband. So yeah, it's like a e e type of thing on our day, but that was okay. We got it done. And then my friends helped me to like push some hair back because it was so loose. So I would um, double check with the stylist. I should have been more brave and said like, oh, this is a little loose. Oh, I don't like this here. But yeah, I didn't say that. 
so. Yeah, but anyways, good luck. And etc. Here I see five dollars, but I don't really know what that's for. Etc. Yeah. Um. So for this entire attire, oh, I know the etc. Was for like a little. It was like a white hair flower that I stuck it to like my back on top of the veil. And so it made it very. It, it looked very pretty, and so I would recommend it. I also bought this off of shein or ali but uh if you guys want more um info i'll leave it somewhere in the comment below um comment below and then i'll tag you and then i'll leave the link there okay so this subtotal for this attire was eight hundred dollars this was 13 percent so oh going back the reception was did i mention so yeah all in all the reception was around two thousand eight hundred eleven dollars um, and that was 46.78%. So I guess you could take, you know, half of the wedding was for just the meal. Um, and let's go to photography and videography. Whoa, this was so expensive. Like, we got it done cheap. But when I was researching, I mean, hell, like, how does one session of photography take $5,000? Like, I don't know. I don't understand. I've, um, I had no idea that it would cost this much. So I asked a friend. I took a friend chance. And so he had another friend that did video videography. And then he, my friend also had like some other people, like some friends who also wanted um, experience. So they tagged along with him. And so we had a team of four crews and that was amazing. And like, they never really got paid like in their previous experiences so this was like their very first mm, photo slash wedding photography and videography so it was like pretty cheap um the whole in all in all like the cost was a thousand dollars yeah i don't know i don't know if this will like at some point i was like oh this is so cheap but then on at another like one day later i was like Wait, it kind of seems expensive because they didn't really have an experience. Like we gave this experience to them, but anyway, yeah, we just decided. Oh, you know, they tried their best, and we'll see. The results haven't come out yet, and it's already a month, but we'll see. Um, and then that was just for the day of. But here, I also did include all of the engagement photos, and I actually um hand coded myself because I'm a developer. Um the wedding invitations so we also had <clears throat> to get pictures taken but we um we got engaged in january so we couldn't take any outside photos which was a bummer so we we're like oh where should we take these where should we take these so i had my friend take it for us and um she's actually my brother's wife now yeah, but she was my friend first. Yes, my friend. And so we got this done at an Airbnb. We booked an Airbnb and she came and she and my brother came over. They drove over to where we lived and then we took like photos and we did a film camera snaps. And so I really like the, I really, really, really like how the results turned out. I'll put them up here. So yeah, I really like them and the cost of them were the Airbnb was $228.22 and the like invitation snap, I guess, like the materials, like the film camera, films, like the rolls and I guess, oh, and then like the bouquet, we got it off of Trader Joe's and so that was $186.77 in total and so the photography and videography that was subtotal was 1414.99 cents okay and so the decor we had it done inside a church we had the ceremony i mean and we decided we did not want any decorations um well because we didn't really want to take time in researching 
um and we were just like so tired of everything of everything we were so focused on work there was just a lot of things going on and we were busy and we even lived 50 minutes away from each other so it was really even hard to just go to a catering place or hard to visit a flower shop hard to just talk together so we try to manage things like one by one but it was rather hard um and so we decided you know let's not do anything let's not do flowers let's not do like the virgin room let's not do anything but you know as time went on i was like ah but still i wish people kind of like liked it at least so we did some flowers we did it for 350 dollars it was just like on the not not the pew but where the efficient was would speak so it was like right on top of there so I'm, I'm so glad we did this this was like the best purchase and then pew decorations this we just had our friends um make ribbons with a white or organza type of material and so we just had this done at every other pew and then i also purchased a guest book and just put like a picture of us and then asked them to sign it and we also had like a mirror that said like welcome to so and so's wedding but it got placed at a door not on top of like a shelf or anything so we were originally thinking that oh it would be the perfect photo spot but no one really took photos there so yeah but the decor decorations was $360 most of it being the flower and then thankfully um the rings my ring and my boyfriend's uh my ex-boyfriend's this is like a rose gold and his is silver um but thankfully my boyfriend's um family they had it done in south korea and they came here to the u.s with them so yeah it looks so pretty yeah we were searching on like etsy on like all these other places but yeah they got it done and it looks so pretty i love it and first uh finally like there was there were gifts we were thinking whether we should do guest favors or not and even until like the previous day we were like we were i was searching on amazon and looking to see if i should get like for your happy tears type of tissue packs because I felt like a lot of people would cry, and they actually did. So I wish I could have had that. Um, had that, but I we just decided not to. But instead, we got some prizes, and so we would ask all these very specific questions about me and my boyfriend's ex boyfriend's relationship. So we, we would be like, "Oh, what was the first home cooked meal that so and so um ate together?" Or like, "What was the very first?" couple item and which brand was it and like all these different like very specific questions and what starbucks drink did the bride buy the groom and um and oh what was the very first text that the bride uh, that the groom sent us uh, sent to the bride and like you know those very specific questions and so we i had um I had it says a hundred but I think I bought like hundred something dollar worth of prizes it was a lot of um, eating like snacks or just kitchenware and stuff like that I got it all from H Mart I think yeah so we all got it there and then I would um I gift wrap them with like ribbons and clear present wrapper and then I like ribboned it so those prizes so we had like those bonus quiz time yes that's it that's it so we had like a bonus quiz time and so that's how we gave out the prizes because i just wanted some more interactivity inside that um inside our wedding so that was a very fun like to do thing so all in all yes the um the 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 wedding yeah the wedding came about to like six thousand six thousand um, dollars i know it was a very cheap wedding considering all of the very extravagant weddings that people do and like all these like getaways that people do 
but me and just personally like and finance wise we were me and my ex-boyfriend were the only ones um in charge and we were the ones who were paying and so we wanted a fun time and uh, we both uh realized and decided that yeah it was a <clears throat> it's a very special day for us to gather all of the ones that we love and actually um treat them out so we had this this thought in mind and we um i think this thought helped us and motivated us and propelled us to um, do the best and give more and prepare um, the happiest day possible to them not just for us but to them so we were like the party planners and I feel like throughout the four months that we were planning it I felt like a party planner I didn't feel like I was the bride ever I was like every time someone asked me um, like oh how do you feel like it's your it's um your wedding is so soon I would be like you know, I don't feel like I'm getting married. I feel like I'm the party planner and someone else is getting married. So yeah, that was my wedding journey. I hope this budget um, thing helped. Hopefully, if it didn't, that's sad. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions and I would be so, so, so happy to help. If you guys are um, hesitant, where should I do the wedding? When? How? Um, is it worth it? Um, kind of thing. Because I was a per type of person to say, I don't think even it's even worth it. You know, three months to like a year of preparation, and then one day, like that's so so not efficient. I'm like the most efficient type of a person that you would look at. I would, if I, if you give me choices A, B, or C, I would be like, efficiency. Like, that's, that's it. That's my only motto. But although this wedding day doesn't equal efficiency, I feel like happiness and memories is really what carries itself throughout your entire journey. So, um, yeah, I think... Uh, if you enjoy every moment of planning it, and it... it 100% it won't be easy, but I suggest communicate a lot, be expressive, be thankful for even one little um, research that your other partner does, be thankful, be mindful, and just keep thinking that you are doing this to be happy together. You guys aren't um, the masterminds, you know, you guys aren't a corporation just doing this to have all your um, besties, all your, um, all the people who have gifted you, all the people who've loved you, who've expressed their um, hearts out to you, and you're just gathering them at one place and you're pouring out your love to them. So I take, I took this special day as a moment to express my gratitude and I am so happy that I had that chance to do that. Because, you know, when in a lifetime would you get a room full of people that you love and people who love you and then have them congratulate you? Yeah. So although I was at first not a huge fan of let's have a wedding type of a thing, I'm so happy that I did. Yeah. Bye.